Hey guys, quick video here. Um, so this is going to show you one of the techniques that uh, some of the uh, top players use that a lot of people don't know exists. Um, so if you want to get over 660,000 cooking experience per hour without spending any more than you normally would when you're cooking regular fish, uh, this is how you do it. So basically you're going to make sure that you have your uh, Dwarven Army Axe equipped uh, and then any of the uh, Seuss Chef's uh, stuff you might have. If you don't have all of it, whatever, as you can see in this video, I'm missing uh, one piece. Uh, the cooking gauntlets do give you the same boost as wearing the uh, sous chef stuff, so make sure you wear the gauntlets so that we don't burn the food. And uh, have your decorated cooking urns always. Um, if you're not using cooking urns, you probably should start doing that. It's definitely worth it. Uh, you get way more experience by using them. So as you can see, on a regular cooking method, uh, as I click on the uh, uh, portable range here, which is what you're going to want to use. If you're not using portable ranges, that's also a mistake because the portable ranges are going to give you some fish back. So if you think it's a loss while you're cooking, Oftentimes it's not a loss, just because the portable ranges will help you save money. Uh, also, if you have the modified uh, talk here, whatever, chef's, chef's hat, <laughs> um, that's also going to save you some fish. Um, so that way, uh, and, uh, cooking can in fact be profitable uh, if you buy them at the right prices, and sometimes it can be quite a bit of money. Anyway, this is about the experience. Let's get into that. So as you see, with my one urn in the inventory, cooking 27 sharks at a time, obviously, you know, use higher if you can use higher. In this video, I'm just going to show you sharks. I click cook here. And at the top, it shows me that it was going to take 64 seconds. It takes roughly 62 seconds in order to do a full inventory of fish. Uh, and as you can see, the XP drops here and uh, the total speed. Now, what the pros would use and, the, and what you're going to use in this method here if you want to do it much quicker is, uh, let me show you with the full inventory again. Uh, what you're going to do this time is what you would, uh, you uh, basically want to click the, click the portable range and then each time that uh, the experience pops up, you're going to click it, and that is called three ticks because the game is on ticks. Uh, so you have one tick, two tick, and three tick, and on the third tick is when you're going to click the uh, range again. So you don't you don't actually need to uh, do anything except for clicking the range if you put something heavy on your spacebar. Uh, and then what it'll do is, yeah, kind of missing it there. <laughs> See, as soon as the experience pops up, just click the uh, range, and then it just clicks it for you. So, like I said, put something heavy on your space bar. That way you're not also hitting the space bar. Um, but if you don't have anything that's heavy on your space bar, make sure you hit the space bar in order to start cooking again. But as you can see, the main point here is uh, how much faster it cooks. Uh, you can kind of see how much time it cuts off by the uh, timer at the top. Um, it's clearly not been 30 seconds yet, and I've already cut off uh, you know, well over 30 seconds. And I'm missing half of them here because I'm talking to you. But basically... Put something heavy on the space bar. Every time the experience pops up, click the cook on the portable again, and then it will start cooking right away, which skips the entire animation for cooking the food, which is which is what makes this uh, well over 660,000 experience an hour if you're using urns and everything else, uh, especially if you're doing avatar boost and whatnot. Um, so, uh, you know, in comparison to other cooking methods, this is definitely the way to go. Um, keep in mind, this is not AFK. Um, it can be slightly AFK, I guess, if you were watching a movie, you put something heavy on the space bar, and then you just kind of clicked, uh, and, you know, if you can keep a good rhythm, then I guess you can, uh, just, uh, click, uh, on time while you're watching a movie. But, regardless, this shows you, uh, a new way for you to do cooking. Uh, a lot of people don't know about this method, or how to do this method, and, uh, well, this is how you do it. So, like and subscribe if this helped, and more videos coming soon. Thanks.